Roswell flight test crew here today to tell you a little bit about the Ghost. It's an Indiegogo campaign for a little quadcopter camera platform. Yeah, the folks who are putting this project together sent us an email asking if we'd help get the word out. And to their credit, they uh, they didn't say, hey, will you help us sell this thing? They really just wanted help making sure as many people as possible had seen it. You can check out their website uh, and the link below in the description. All right, let's check out the project. So here's our first image of this drone here. It looks really cool, actually. It's kind of, it looks like upside down almost at first, but that's neat. The, the props are mounted below the motors and below the arms. Yeah, now I saw something about this online, or maybe it was a magazine, I can't remember where, but the, um, the point of it was the props are pushing the air down, but they're not pushing the air past the limbs, so it's supposed to reduce vibration induced in the airframe. Yeah, it'd have less parasitic drag, and of course every uh, time the propeller uh, swings by the, sh the arm for the aircraft, you're going to induce vibration, that's true. All right, and so they've got a video here which shows the um, sort of the control mode. Yeah, it looks like the primary control is obviously a phone in this case, but it's it's mainly looks like a GPS waypoint system. So it's pretty cool. You, you hit a button, it takes off. You hit a button, it flies to where you want it to go, and then flies back with a button to return to home essentially. But it's all controlled for your phone. It, it doesn't look like there's like a direct control input, although you can. Uh, lock in GPS and, and use like a little joystick on the right hand side to maneuver it around and aim it but uh, yeah but I mean it's it's almost spooky easy to use this video looks similar to the Arian Scouts video the Arian Scout is hundred and fifty grand to start with and for that price you could buy what uh, what 420 of these things <laughs> It's, it's really amazing. The interface is so straightforward and simple. If it works as advertised, it's going to be really something. Usually. Yeah, now they've got a second video here which seems to show an alternate control mode, which to me looks a little bit more like the Parrot AR drone. Yeah, you, you tip your you put the Parrot in like tip your phone mode and tip the phone back and forth or twist the phone and the magnetometer shows the direction, changes the direction. So that's a more direct control. I don't know if that's ready for prime time yet or not, but it looks like it's, it's doing demoed here, but it mentioned something about being future. So mm. we'll find out. Um, now, one thing I thought was interesting about that direct control mode was it looked to me like this was a pretty agile aircraft. You look there, you see him tip the phone all the way over, and the aircraft gets a pretty good speed. And then when he levels out the phone, it, it comes to a pretty quick stop. It I mean, does, it's, yeah. it's not it's not pretty sluggish. Quick. It's not no, it's not lagging behind your input, which would be of course dangerous for direct control. And yeah, that's yeah, definitely. Now, one thing that's a little interesting, especially given that this is smartphone controlled, is it does do a live video stream, so... But the, but the live video stream looks like it's actually analog video, so they're not tying up the cell phone's bandwidth with video, they're just displaying the, the map on the phone where it is, and the, the controls, so there's no video coming from the cell phone, which makes sense because you can't tilt your cell phone and watch the same time so yeah I know I mean this and this actually does set it apart a little bit from like either the parrot or the phantom vision series uh, where the video is coming back through the phone. the phone yeah but the thing is you get this choppy horrible video I think they figure out that you know what analog video it works better for for lag it oh yeah yeah no no you're absolutely right about that but the one thing to think about is if you want to have that FPV capability you're gonna to have to go out and buy a separate a screen or goggles or something to five eight I didn't see that on the list here. So yeah, they they picture a small screen. It looks like a 5.8 based on the diversity there and the size of the antennas. But okay, and so this is the actual um, Ghost Drone Indiegogo funding page. At... They, they met their goal. Yeah, they've they've <laughs> already like... beat their goal yeah, into they... the ground. They were going for a hundred thousand. They're already up to three hundred and fifty thousand. Well, so e an easy to fly camera platform is a real popular thing this year with a gimbal. With a, with a gimbal. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Now, one thing important to point out is that the campaign closes on December 10th, but you're not going to have this until late January, they're saying. So this won't be under the they tree. Gotta, they got to make them. Well, all right. So for five bucks, you can join the Ghost Fan Club, which I suspect will get you uh, on their email list and a hearty thank you note. But not a whole lot more. At a bare minimum, I'm going to go for the Ghost Gear Club, which actually doesn't include a ghost because it's only 29 bucks. But you do get a t-shirt and this cool looking little it's pin. It's all about the swag. It's all about the swag. It really is all about the swag. Okay, and for three seventy-five, you get the Ghost Basic. That's the drone, no gimbal, but just the aircraft ready to go. Then for five ninety-nine, you can get the GoPro Owner Pack, which includes both the drone plus the gimbal. And then for 979 bucks, you get the Adventure Pack, which includes the drone, the gimbal, plus a GoPro Hero 4 silver camera. Then of course for 999, two ghosts are better than one. Hard to argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then for 3600 and change, 10 ghosts are better than two, I guess. Well, 
and I like this because they have different colors. You can basically have different people have different ghosts, so you can have a family pack. Yeah, that's, I guess that's true. If you're all going to be out flying at the same, same time, time <laughs> you could that that could actually yeah, you wouldn't want to get your ghost confused, confused with somebody else's. That could be bad. And then I also wonder if they because they've got ten packs, a twenty pack, wow. you know, and a hundred pack, and then good heavens, what do we got down here? We've got a hundred and forty pack. I, and, and two of those they have been claimed. Two of them. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if if somebody's going to buy 140 of these things because they're like Discovery Channel. Well, you can have them in their hobby shop too. You figure well, someone could probably just you know afford that, I guess. But that's wow. a good point. Yeah, they could. Somebody could be stocking up to sell these things retail. Yeah. yeah. Or my other thinking was that you know if you're Discovery Channel or somebody oh, is going to yeah. burn up a lot of these things. That's true. You know, you send this thing out to hunt the saber tooth, whatever, and it crashes and gets eaten. I mean, who cares? You've still got 139 of them left. Well, that's a year on safari. You keep three or four of them handy. Couple yeah. at the hotel. Yeah, exactly. Case. Yeah, I mean, light gets to one. Who knows? It, clearly, that's not something your average user is going to do, but I mean, if you were, you know, industrial strength filmmaker, that would probably make I sense. Guess, I guess 140 better than two of that, huh? 140 is 70 times better than two, to be <laughs> accurate. <laughs> so go ahead and check out the link for the campaign in the description below. And the uh, closing date for this campaign is December 10th, 2014, so if you want to get on board, be sure you do it before then. Hope you're watching. See you next time. All right. Fly safe. Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to tell you about the ghost. It's an Indigo campaign. Indy, go, 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 thank you. But to their credit, they just said, hey, help us, you know, fi help us find people. <laughs> Less words. Less words. Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to tell you about the ghost. It's an Indiegogo campaign for a little aerial quadcopter. What other kinds of quadcopters are there? It's an aerial... All right, I think we have, we now officially have uh, outtakes for this one. Ready? <laughs>